By virtue of the powers vested in me as acting vice chancellor, I constitute this gathering a congregation of the University of South Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, we request you to join us in silent prayer or meditation to give thanks for the achievements being celebrated on this occasion. To our Chancellor of the University of South Africa, members of our Council, Management of UNISA, our Executive Deans, Deputy Deans, distinguished professors and academics, our successful graduates and their parents, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon to all of you. Sambona. Moluen Tobela Thank you very much. It is my pleasure, of course, and my honor to welcome you to the 2023 UNISA graduation ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, I am not alone as I'm accompanied by our academics and administrators from management, Dr. PJ Miaza on behalf of the Registrar, from the College of Law, Professor Ojeo Kolen, Acting Executive Dean, from the College of Education, Professor Arche Tabane, Director School of Educational Studies, and Professor Ngubane. When I sit down, I will be asking and requesting Dr. L.B. Mshongo from the College of Law to deliver the Chancellor's address. And so, once more, ladies and gentlemen, congratulations and I thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Acting Vice Chancellor. San Bonan. Ninjan. Awesome. I'm, ho I'm hoping that you guys are very excited to be here today. Are you? Yes. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed unisons, proud parents, distinguished guests, and most importantly, the exceptional graduates of the University of South Africa. It is with great honor and pleasure that I stand before you today to celebrate your achievements. First and foremost, I extend my warmest congratulations to each and every one of you for successfully completing this challenging journey of higher education. Today marks the culmination of years of hard work, dedication, as well as unwavering determination. You have faced countless academic hurdles, sleepless nights, and sacrificed leisure time in pursuit of knowledge and personal growth. Your achievements are a testament of your resilience and commitment, and you should be proud of yourselves. Graduates, as you embark on the next chapter of your lives, I urge you to reflect upon the knowledge and experiences you have gained during your time at UNISA. Remember that education is not just about acquiring facts and figures. It is about cultivating a thirst for lifelong learning, nurturing critical thinking, and developing the ability to adapt to an ever-changing world. You have been equipped with the tools to become giants and agents of positive change in our society. It is now your responsibility to utilize your skills and knowledge for the betterment of the world around you. As we celebrate your achievements, it is essential that we also reflect upon the broader context of education in our world today. The concepts of Africanization and decolonization of education have gained significant prominence and importance in recent years, and rightfully so. 
These movements call for a fundamental re-evaluation of knowledge systems, perspectives, and narrations that shape our educational institutions. We recognize that for far too long, traditional education systems have been influenced by colonial legacies which have perpetuated Eurocentric perspective and marginalized indigenous knowledge systems. The Africanization and decolonization of education seeks to rectify this imbalance by acknowledging and embracing the rich diversity of African cultures, histories, and contributions. Graduates, we celebrate your achievements while commemorating UNISA's 150 years of excellence. According to Dr. Martin Luther King, the function of education is to, open quote, teach one to think intensively and to think critically so that one obtains intelligence plus character. That is the goal of true education, close quote. In line with the objective of true education in shaping the future, UNISA has embraced an Africanized and decolonized approach to education and be proud of yourselves to have consumed African-centered knowledge. This means that as UNISA graduates, you are uniquely positioned to be catalyst of change in the movement towards a society with humility, integrity, and a commitment to excellence. Seek to uplift those around you, empower the marginalized, and contribute to the welfare of your communities. You have engaged with a diverse range of academic disciplines, acquired critical thinking skills, and gained a deep understanding of global issues. Now, it is imperative that you use this knowledge to challenge existing paradigms, dismantle walls of inequality, as well as systemic biases, and to promote inclusivity within your respective fields. Graduates, you have the power and the responsibility to be advocates for change. You are the torch bearers of progress, and it is incumbent upon you to contribute to the ongoing Africanization and decolonization of knowledge and practices. Use your voices to advocate for inclusive policies. Support initiatives that promote diversity, cultural exchange, and the celebration of indigenous knowledge. In today's rapidly evolving global landscape, we face numerous challenges that demand creative solutions, collaborative efforts, and a deep sense of empathy. I implore you to embrace these challenges as opportunities for growth and innovation. Be courageous in your pursuit of your dreams and never lose sight of your true passions and values. As graduates from this powerful institution, you are now part of a proud legacy of intellectuals, leaders, and change makers. Remember that your education is a privilege and a powerful tool for transformation. Use it wisely. Know that you are now our ambassadors in the global landscape, and we have utmost faith in your abilities to shape a brighter future. Stay connected with your alma mater, share your experiences, and inspire future generations of learners. As we gather here to celebrate your achievements, let us also take a moment to express our heartfelt gratitude to the esteemed unisons who have been your guides, mentors, and sources of inspiration throughout your educational voyage at this institution. Their unwavering support and tireless efforts have shaped you into the accomplished individuals you are today. Congratulations once again, UNISA 2023 graduates. Thank you, Mr. Acting Vice Chancellor. Thank you very much, Dr. Mshongo. Ladies and gentlemen, um, before we start with the confirmation of the degrees and diplomas, 
May I kindly request you not to leave the hall before the end of the ceremony. I also request you to keep your cell phones on silent, alternatively off, so as not to interfere with the proceedings of the ceremony. By virtue of the powers entrusted to me, I shall now proceed to confer the degrees and diplomas of the university on the candidates whose names appear in the program, and I request the representatives of the colleges to present the candidates to me. Mr. Acting Vice Chancellor, Mendy Jane Hain received the degree of Master of Education. Mr. Acting Vice Chancellor, Cynthia Nokwazi Jali received a degree honors Bachelor of Education. <laughs> Mr. Acting Vice Chancellor, the following candidates receive the degree of Bachelor of Education. Not all on no Kwanda Buteles. Ama Amanda Mkonazi. Mr. Acting Vice Chancellor, no do more Mashiam Cheshani receives a degree with distinction. Slindogu Shem Tembu. in PUM Tiani. Non tokozo fortunate Nguanyan. Mr. Acting Vice Chancellor, Tandoku Shen Mobile Viki Nyao received the degree with distinction.
Nomfundo Priti Shangase. Andile Pumlani Sikakani. So be so. So see, bo. Innocent in Kululego Zungu. Zungu Nomvula Patricia Zwani There's a fit okay okay yes but now <laughs> No, we let Priscilla dead. Vice Chancellor, the following candidates receive the degree of Bachelor of Laws. Uh, Shannon Mishka Boshrau. Pumulani Pumulani Butelezi. Dylan Chaitram. Done. Yes, you can proceed and come back. Slindili Nomfundo Mkadela.
thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. By virtue of the powers entrusted to me, I dissolve this congregation of the University of South Africa. <laughs>